party. We're going to court. Oh, it doesn't matter these days, ma'am. You can wear anything anywhere. I want the magistrate to see what a respectable family your father had. Has. <laughs> Actress Jean Boat, best known for playing matriarch Nellie Boswell in the Liverpool set 1980s TV sitcom Bread, has died at the age of 91. Doesn't matter what your dress is in, ma'am, we're still gonna look devious. When you're born and bred and brought up in this city, your face takes on a pirate's look. <laughs> Boat also appeared in sitcoms I Woke Up One Morning and Brighton Bells, and the drama boys from The Black Stuff. We had to all right. Oh, you look lovely, ma'am. You won't forget your skirt, will you? <laughs> the news comes a month after the death of her husband, composer Carl Davis. A statement from her family said, it is with overwhelming sadness that we must announce that Jean Boat passed away yesterday, Tuesday, September 12th. I mean, if your father had to steal something, why couldn't it be something tasteful? Why must it be a corporation dust cart? <laughs> well, he's sorry. She soon became known around the country as the formidable Nellie Boswell, who was constantly attempting to keep her large Liverpool family in check. It's differently, didn't he? That cart was his Rolls Royce. The show was a big hit, with 21 million viewers tuning in to watch a wedding episode in 1988 making it the second most popular show of that year, behind only EastEnders. I never watched it at the time. It's too horrendous for actors to see themselves on screen so I had no idea what it looked like, she told the Liverpool Echo in 2012. But now when I catch it I am just astounded at how good it was and how very funny, she added. Boat was named BBC TV Personality 1988 by the Variety Club of Great Britain. And won the prize for Top TV Comedy Actress at the British Comedy Awards in 1990. She also appeared in Terence Davies' acclaimed 1988 movie Distant Voices, Still Lives. In 1993, she landed a lead role in Brighton Bells, the British remake of hit US sitcom The Golden Girls. Well, you've implied that you know where Emma's mother happens to be. Yes, I do. And you're not going to tell us? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Why not? I mean, is she robbing a bank or scrubbing floors that she's ashamed of? Not exactly, no. What then? It's a difficult situation. Well, as situations usually are. She's divorced, you know. I oh, know. It's not uncommon. No. So am I. It's not easy for a divorced woman. Well, that's why we need someone we can trust. Alongside Sheila Hancock, Wendy Craig and Sheila Gish. Boat played Josephine, the new version of Estelle Getty's character Sophia from the American original. What secret has she trusted you with? She's away today, visiting uh, a friend. A boyfriend? She's entitled to him. Mean, what's the difficulty? He works nights. And sleeps days, and she... A divorced woman with a child. We snatch what we can when we can find the time. We? I have three children, and they ask questions. Does Emma? I suppose so. Does she know? No, no. Mrs Jones has kept it very quiet. She's only told me, and if it came out now... We're not going to broadcast it, but I, I think we should get in touch. Is she... is he on the telephone? And you know the number? Well, it's not as simple as that. Why not? You see, he's, he's married. Huh. However, the UK remake failed to take off. Later, she boasted that playing five different roles in the BBC's medical soap opera Doctors was a record for the show, and she continued performing on stage including in Embers with Jeremy Irons in London's West End in 2006. Her family's statement said she had been living at Denville Hall in London, a care home for actors and other members of the entertainment industry.